And weight loss was simply a matter of eating less and exercising more. We lose weight, which we don't. And secondly, that advice is actually very destructive because it implies that if you don't eat less and exercise more, there's something wrong with you. It blames the person who's overweight for being overweight which is a phenomenal, awful, horrible framework for thinking about obesity. It has nothing to do with biology. It's not your fault if you're overweight. Now, yes, you make choices and you have personal choice and you can choose to exercise or you can choose to eat differently. And that's all within our personal choice. But the problem is if you live in a toxic nutritional wasteland, it's very hard to make the right choice. If your whole environment and society is set up to eat more and exercise less, well, that's going to be the default of what you're going to do. Now, you can always overcome that, but it's really hard for many people, especially those who are underserved, who live in food deserts, who have challenges accessing healthier food, to actually do the right thing. But even, even if we all wanted to do the right thing, and I think most of us do, even if we try to do the right thing, there's a problem, which is that the calories that we're eating are very different than the calories we used to eat. They're extremely high in refined products, ultra-processed food. If you eat ultra-processed food, it will actually drive your appetite up, and the average person who's given an unlimited food to eat, processed food or whole foods eat 500 calories more a day of ultra processed food. In a year, that will add up to 52 pounds of weight gain. 